Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and I welcomes you to my second video on the basis of project management. Previously, we have discussed about what is an event, what is an activity, what is a project, what is network analysis, the types of network analysis techniques available and used today and the objective of network analysis. And also I have explained what these all theories you can apply in real life situation using an example of building a power plant. So do watch my previous video to grab the concept from the very beginning. Now we will talk about activity, event and the types of activities. So let's start. So what is an activity? Activity is something which represents some action and consumes both time and resource. Activity is represented by an arrow. The tail of the arrow represents the start of the activity and the head represents the end of the activity and the length of the arrow is not important. An activity can be anything such as an operation or an action or transportation or even inspection. Both pre-inspection that is called survey and post-inspection that is called scrutiny and each activity has a point of time of start and finish in the project timeline. I will explain what is an activity and event a little bit later but first let me give you the definitions. Next is the event. An event is something which represents the start that is the beginning and end that is the completion of an activity and itself does not consume any time or resource. An event is denoted by a circle. It is also called a node. As from an event multiple activity can start or end. An event is not completed until all the activities coming to it are completed. So if you represent them graphically, an event is represented by a circle. An activity is represented by an arrow. And the tail of the arrow represents the start of the activity. And the head of the arrow represents the end of the activity. And length of arrow is not important. So let's think about the activity and event in a different way. Let's say you are one of the three representatives or one of the three executives of a company which will fly to London from New York for a project survey. And until all of three reach to the site and complete the survey, the project cannot be started. So when you start your journey from New York, that point is an event in the project. And when you finish your journey to the London, that point is also an event. And your journey from New York to London is an activity. An activity consumes both time, you need some time to travel from New York to London and resource. You need some resource like transportation facility from for your journey from New York to London. Also you itself is a resource to the company for the project because without your labor the project cannot be started and the event of starting journey and the event of ending journey does not consume any time or resource. Now some more things to be noted that an activity has a fixed time of start and fixed time of end in the project's timeline. For example if you start your journey the evening of 5th of June and if you finish your journey at the morning of 6th of June then your travel time and which is marked in the project timeline that for transportation the time taken is 10 hours. So each activity has a specific time of start and specific time of end in the project timeline. Next thing an event is also called a node as from any event more than one activity can start and to an event more than activity can end. For example, let's say if three of you executives will fly from New York and to London in three different dates. Then your travel is represented by one activity. Then the travel for another executive can be represented by another arrow and the travel for the third executive can be represented by the third arrow and until all the three representatives travel to the London 
then the survey activity cannot be started so since as we can see at this event three activities are ending so until all the three activities are done or until all the three executive reach to london the next activity cannot be started also an event is called a node because from an event multiple activities can start or to an event multiple activities can end so these are the three points you need to remember next coming to types of activities so basically there are three types of activities the first one is predecessor activity an activity which must be completed before one or more other activities start is known as predecessor activity for example your travel is the predecessor activity of starting the survey next is successor activity activity which start immediately after one or more activities completed is known as successor activity so the starting the survey is the successor activity of previous three activities of the travel next is the dummy activity which is a special activity an activity which does not consume any time or resource is known as a dummy activity it is represented by dotted line although the dummy activity does not consume any time or resource is still must follow all the rules which applies to a normal activity some note a dummy activity in a network is added to represent the given precedence relationship among the activities of a project and is needed when number a two or more parallel activities in a project have same start and same end events or two or more activities have some but not all of their immediate predecessor activities in common well i will explain the use of dummy activity when i will discuss the actual network representation so friends this was end of the part 2 of the video about basics of project management so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that when i upload my next video you get an email if you subscribe and please like and share the video because sharing is caring so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing